Value at risk is an important concept, particularly for risk managers or regulators. Uh, it might be considered what loss level is such that we are X percent confident it will not be exceeded in end business days. So we might think of a, an asset which would have a distribution and on average we expect the value of an asset would be typically at a, a given level. But then in the tails, there could be negative and positive tails, positive events, negative events. And we're trying to, in some kind of parametric way, describe the distribution of um, an asset returns and also what is the 1% worst occurrences. And typically we're trying to calculate the level, the value at risk between what typically will happen and up to this 1% cutoff. We don't know the full range of losses. In fact, the full losses might be ill-defined. Losses uh, in principle can be infinite. Uh, value at risk really is looking at a cutoff point and considering what value is at risk between typically where we we expect to be and that one percent cutoff point. Previously, we had worked out a variance covariance matrix for a group of six assets, and we estimated the mean return, the variance, and the standard deviation of the portfolio. Uh, these measures could be used to estimate. Uh, value at risk uh, at a given confidence level. Uh, if we take this data again, copy and paste into a new spreadsheet, and um, we'll call it value at risk 2, VAR2. And so we have a mean return for the portfolio, variance, standard deviation for a given portfolio, uh, we should, if we designate a particular cash amount, we could say um, $100 or $1,000, uh, we could set out uh, the following. We could define a cutoff point, and we'll just initially put it in the cut. put it in as 800 and the 1000 is some kind of initial investment so an initial cash amount tied up in the portfolio and we could estimate the probability of finding ourselves in a position where the value of the portfolio is less than 800 and in order to make that estimation, we would say norm dist, not norms, norm dist, open bracket, and we say, okay, the mean level uh, is 800. So the value, what we're considering is the probability that the value of the investment will be less than 800, where we initially started with a value of 1000 and we expect it to grow by the mean rate of return and we take into account uh, the standard deviation the standard deviation is 25 percent also multiplied by 1000 and we're looking for the cumulative, prob cumulative probability, so we say true and return. And what we can infer from this is that the probability, given that the mean return is 21%, the variance, the standard deviation is 25%, the probability, if we started with a thousand euros investment, probability after a period of one year 
of this investment being less than 800 is 5%. This will be my dry to this 